and we've been joined on the set by a fantastic lady who has been you know giving us tips on self-improvement all right and today we're going to be talking about grit all right that quality that is needed to change the game Hannah Abraham Sapia has joined us she's a pastor she's an author she's a teen and youth educator all right so grab your pens your notepads take some notes Hannah good morning Good morning. How are you? I'm good. All right. It's good to have you here. Good to have you too. Great. It sounded, when we saw it, I said, great. It sounds like food. <laughs> <laughs> but what is great and why is it such a critical um, ingredient for people to have? Okay. When we talk of great, there are various definitions, but I would want to do more a little technical definition. Okay. The Webster Dictionary defines it as a behavior defined by feminists of character or indomitable spirit. Okay. Now, uh, Duckworth, one of the great researchers on grit, defined it as perseverance and passion in the face of, um, what do you call it, Adversity. larger than life mm. obstacles. Mm. So your ability to meet goals when you are faced by obstacles, mm. that tenacity that you have that carries you through to be able to solve problems mm. when these challenges come is what we call grit. Great. Okay. So that grit is key yeah. and a determinant of success in everybody's life. Okay. Now you say it's a it's a game changer. How? How does it become a game changer when you find a person who lacks grit, truthfully? success is evasive or the person just cannot succeed because whether you like it or not there are obstacles that will come your way planned or unplanned they are they are lurking around waiting to meet you mm. how do you bounce back after a failure how do you bounce back after you meet a challenge how do you bounce back when you meet an obstacle in the normal business uh, learning growth any pro any activity mm. there's this uh, what do you call it curve excitement in starting and then there's a dip when you get to that dip how do you move or navigate from that slow lack of progress lack of results lack of motivation yeah. that dip can only be overcome when you have that grit because that is why i call it the game changer mm. so that grit is now the one able to change the game and then now move the curve upward to get the results that you intended before you started mm. Now, if somebody um, is going through life, they've had lots of hiccups, start mm. and not finish, um, and all of that, um, can you just wish to have grit and you have it? How do you develop grit? You that quality. That quality of grit. You mm. can't just wish to get it. It must be developed. First and foremost, you must have a goal in life for whatever you are doing. You don't just walk through life. You wake up in the morning and hope that whatever happens to you would happen. No, you must have a goal. So what's your goal? Career, academic, business, learning, childbirth, marriage, wealth, health. There must be first and foremost a goal. Okay. Then you must have a reason why that goal. Mm. So why do I want to go to school? Mm. I want to get a degree to get a better job. I want to be able to get knowledge. I want to lose weight, I want to be smarter, I want to get money. Mm. There must be a strong why. Mm. Then you must now have intentionality. When I say intentionality, you must be intentional about fulfilling that goal. Okay. In this case, what are you going to do? You are consciously taking steps. You have outlined a way. Now, this is where this natural grace of conscientiousness comes mm. in. Mm. Some people are naturally conscientious which means that they execute diligently whatever they are doing. You meet them, everything is orderly, they have timelines, they yeah. have daily routines. These ones come naturally for certain personalities. But in case you were not born like that, you must learn it. You must cultivate it. It is only in this possibility, on this case, that you can now achieve that goal, remember, we started with. Mm. So if you don't put these things in place, you can't. And then know that obstacles will come, prepared or unprepared. So your tenacity is going to be tested. Mm. So if you have listened to me, I talked about G-R-I-T, your goal, your reason why, 
intentionality and tenacity. Ah, I'm still talking about grit. Okay. <laughs> if you put these things in that order, okay. you can persevere when the challenges and the obstacles come and meet you in any specific area that you have set a goal in to achieve. I see. We have what? Walk us through those again. A goal? G? Uh -huh. A strong goal. Yeah. What do you want to achieve? Yeah. So something that I want to get at the end of the year, five years, ten years. Mm. Like today we want to win. That's yeah. our goal. <laughs> then a reason why. What's yeah. your reason? Why do you want to win? So the stakes are high. I want to go to school because it will give me better education, better mm. knowledge, better leverage. I want to lose weight because of my health. I want to make money because of fees. Mm. A strong why. Many mm. people don't have a strong why, so they give up. Mm. So when things come, you, you want to have a concert. Why do you want to do the concert? Mm. Because I love singing. No, it's not a strong why. <laughs> the strong why should never be linked to fame and money. Mm. Mm. No, mm. fame and money should be the last. Yes. Because those ones are volatile. Okay. True. Very volatile. They're fickle, they're transient. But if it is linked to growth, always a growth mindset, yeah. mm. you will continue in the face of obstacles. Because once you do this, you are better. Mm. You have been on set several times speaking, you are improving. So the growth mindset is always a good reason why. Mm. And then there may be other reasons, but it must be a strong reason. We call it a bulletproof reason. I mean, once you are shaken, your why keeps you going. So your reason why. Then intentionality now means that you now have intentional activities that will help you achieve that goal so have routines have a mentor have a coach find people with similar interests mm -hmm. or similar yeah. goals and work along with them accountability partners so you are intentional in executing that thing so that when there's a setback because you have a plan and then make small progress many people try to run life or anything as a sprint mm -hmm. but take it as a marathon you take it in slow steps, okay. celebrate small wins. Yeah. Yeah. That way you realize that you don't give up. Many people give up when they go on the sprint style, whether it's business. So first three years is not making profits, then they give up. They want to start a new business, um, what do you call it, an academic learning path. Oh, I wouldn't go to medical school in seven years. I would rather do a degree in just anything mm. or maybe a pure sciences subject. Mm. Then after that, they remain unemployed and they wish, oh, I could have done med school. Right. Because seven years later, they are still unemployed and the others have a skill. You may even be in med school and you don't like the course. That is also not a strong why. Mm. So if you don't love the course, you are not passionate about it, you will not do too well. Mm -hmm. So there must be strong passion, interest, which matches your skill sets, mm. your passion, the things you love to do. Mm -hmm. So never, ever say, I have done three years in med school. I must do it because my parents say it or because that is the only course that in Ghana the best brains go mm. and pursue. Mm. So I've done three years, I want to give up. Everybody says, no, you've put in too much mm. time. Putting in too much time is not a good reason enough to continue. There mm. must be a better why. Okay. Okay. Maybe the skill, maybe um, the knowledge can be a better why. But if not, no matter how much time you have put in, leave it and find something you are more passionate about mm. something you will not end up as mediocre but you end up as excellent mm. how deliberate should one be about teaching grit or inculcating those grit principles to children you know as they grow that you know that's how they develop personalities that's how they learn mm. various habits etc how deliberate should you be about that or is it something you know let a kid be a kid let a child be a child and if a circumstance comes about where they have to display some kind of grit, then you approach it. Or are there things you think we should do to teach young people about building grit as they grow? It is very important to teach young people because whether we accept it or not, as they grow, they are going to face life and life has obstacles and challenges. So right from childhood, teach them that failure happens. Let them engage in sports, in activities where they are going to encounter failure mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then watch them rebound. How do they handle that failure? How do they handle disappointment, rejection? How do they um, think through situations? How creative are they? Yeah. When we don't do that intentionally to the children, what happens is we are raising flabby muscled children. Mm. In this case, mental muscles. Mm. So they just don't know how to think through. 
I'm sorry to say we find ourselves currently, because I work with youth, I'm mm -hmm. talking authoritatively mm -hmm. on that point, mm -hmm. a generation of young people that have not been exposed to too much stress. Most of them, parents have done everything, everything. for them. They don't know how to find schools. They don't know how to search for any data mm -hmm. concerning themselves. They don't know how to earn money. They don't know how to manage money. They don't know how to keep a job. Even even when they fail, their parents will go to school and tell the teacher to make sure the child passed. Mm. So the child can't embrace failure, mm. even in learning. So the students who do better in learning are those who have mm. grit, mm. those who know how to rebound, mm -hmm. those who know how to navigate tricky, um, what do you call it, paths. Yeah. But most other children, sadly, just cannot survive. We think we are doing them a favor by helping them, but we are rather doing them a lot of harm mm. because you will not always be with that child. Mm. So mm. if you want an organization that would do well, all we need to do is test the level of grit of all the workers. And it will tell you that these workers will do well or these won't do well. Yeah. Wow. You can actually measure conscientiousness. It's an easy test mm. that is run when you do mypersonality.com. You okay. can easily find out. Okay. It will show. And then for those who don't have it, you must be intentional in teaching them yeah. courage, yeah. teach them to face their fears. Every day, tackle one fear you are afraid of. Mm. When you do that consciously, gradually you realize that you'll be overcoming, you'll be accepting, and you'll be growing, and you'll be in a better position to handle Fantastic. challenges, failure, rejection. Wow. Like Hannah, thank you very thank much. You so much. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. Um, grit mm. should be developed. Yes. Yeah. Uh, um, Hannah, how do people get in touch with you if they were interested in? I'm on all the social media handles, Hannah Abraham Zapia. My number is 0547064982. Okay, fantastic. Thank you, Thank so you much. for sharing with us. It's Thank you grits. very much. You. Grit. All right. The black well, stars need grit. Yeah, exactly. Yes. And Ghanaians need grit. Uh, yeah, you do. know, we need a lot of it. <laughs> Let's take a look at entertainment highlights. We'll come back and we're going to creative lifestyle after that. <laughs>